I started working in the beer business in 1987. I was a co-op student fresh out of university and had this great job at the Upper Canada Brewing Company. At the time, I, uh, you know, a young person getting into the business world and it was so much fun to work in an industry that where we worked hard but we also played hard. It was this great family atmosphere and I soon recruited my then boyfriend, now husband, Greg Taylor to come and work with me there and uh, we worked together for almost a decade and then Upper Canada was bought out and, and sold to Sleeman's and they shut down the brewery and about a hundred of us lost, lost our jobs. But. Um, we kept in touch, we were good friends, and, and uh, started musing about getting back into the beer business, uh, writing a business plan, and, and uh, once the, the idea became a reality, I just couldn't keep away. I, I was really excited to work here at Steam Whistle with Greg, and, and found something that was our own, and, and helped grow it, and you know, here we are 14 years later. When Cam and Greg and, and their other partner, Greg Cromwell, first uh, set up Steam Whistle, they actually incorporated as the name uh, Three Fired Guys Brewing. But I, I thought that that had a sort of bitter undertone and that years later it might not be quite as funny or appealing. And so we were searching for another name and uh, uh, Cam and Greg were standing up on the roof of a building in the east end of town. They were thinking about buying and they were looking back on the downtown four and thinking about, you know, how do we get all these, these white collar workers to put down their pens and stop typing and, uh, you know, end their work day and come out for a beer. And Greg said, why don't we put a steam whistle on the roof of this building and sound it off so that uh, people will know their work day's over and it's time for a beer. And then they sort of looked at each other and said, well, why don't we just make that the name? I can't take the credit really for the environmental ethos of the brewery. I think that really rests with Cam and Greg as, as co-founders. Right from day one, they believed in doing the right thing and, and building right into our facilities here, a lot of the green services, green energy, that kind of thing. I think it's very current. I mean, I think it's happening around the world that people are interested in you know, the local food movement. They want to know what ingredients are going into making whatever it is. And, you know, they want to understand the process. Um, they want to meet you. They want to understand the sort of moral fiber of the company or the producer. You know, so people have a personal relationship with their butcher or their cheesemaker or their baker. And it's the same thing with beer, that, that people love coming here. We're open for tours every day because they can come and actually see for themselves what's going into the making of the beer and to understand really the integrity behind the brand and we're quite proud of that and as a result you know it's door it's open doors all the time come and see for yourself come and witness come and come and smell come and see come and taste uh, what's going on at Steam Whistle.